and welcome to another episode of Property Lim Brothers Landed Home Tour Series. So today we have a freehold three and a half storey corner terraces right in Pavilion Park Estate. Now if you're looking for something with a very good structure whereby the owner just spent $350,000 back in 2020 to do up the entire place, priced at a very sweet price point of 4.6 million. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome all of you to Pavilion View. Let's go. Now welcome everybody to Pavilion View. Now in today's home tour, we are going to chat about this entire Pavilion landed estate as well as why buying a good structured landed home is so crucial in today's market. And we're also going to do a deep dive into pricing analysis within District 23 as well as within this entire landed cluster. Now we are sitting on about 2,347 square feet of land and the entire build up is approximately 3,003 square feet spread out across four levels. So the frontage of the home is about 8.7 followed by a 25 meters depth of the home which is extremely deep. And in the front porch area, we have the capacity to actually fit in three cars, two horizontal and one directly vertical and you can also consider parking one more car right outside your house. As you step into the main door, your DB box is tucked towards the left hand side. Now this wall is actually not structural so if you actually wish to bring down this wall, you can potentially do so. You just have to spend a bit of cost doing your rewiring for your DB box. Else if you want to replace this with long timber strips whereby it allows light to flow through, air to flow through, you can also do so and you'll make your living room look even wider. Now over here we have seven seater sofa positioned right over here. Like you can just sit back and then relax over here. Our owners have already installed a feature wall TV right over here because they wish to segment the entire living as well as the dining room space. Stepping into this home, we realize that the bomb shelter is flush all the way to the side, so that's extremely uh, clever use of space, as well as this entire storeroom slash Wi-Fi area. Now, the Wi-Fi has already been done up across the entire home. You have Wi-Fi ports access on every level of the landed home, so that's extremely great. And then you have an eight-seater dining set over here, and this entire area is so spacious. Now, and if you were to take a look at the entire pricing action right around this entire pavilion subcluster area, then I think it will be crucial to consider one tier downwards and one tier upwards from the corner terrace, which means considering the price movements of the inter terrace as well as the semi D. Pavilion landed area was actually constructed in three main segments. Now, basically, from Pavilion Street to Pavilion Grove, that will be within the phase one of construction. So, those landed homes were first built and then followed by Pavilion Rise towards Pavilion Place, and those are your phase 2A. And lastly, for phase 2B, the ones that were last to be built were actually those landed properties from Pavilion View all the way to Pavilion Circle. Now, and we are a corner terrace within Pavilion View today, so we are one of the newest homes within this entire subcluster. Now, so for the inter-terraces around this area, the land size is about 1,006 square feet and the entire build-up will range between 2,008 to about 3,000 square feet. They are already calling at about the 4 million mark already. And if you were to then consider one tier up, which is those semi-Ds around the entire Pavilion area, now for the semi-Ds around this area, for those Category 2 landed, whereby you have to pump about 300 to 400k in terms of renovation, their land size is about 2,800 odd square feet and their build-up is about 3,005. Now they are already calling at about 4.8 million dollars in today's market. Now and for our unit here today is a 2347 square feet in terms of land size. The overall build up is about 3,003 square feet calling at about 4.6 million negotiable. But by this is in totally moving condition. You don't have to spend time to rent as well as to renovate. So I think that we are priced in an extremely sweet spot right in today's market. Right next to the dining area, I think this will be a great lift provision area because right above us are actually two family rooms and as well as all the way up to the attic. So I think if you are considering to install a lift in this home, you can potentially do so. You can actually have to install a lift shaft over here as well as drill all the way upwards and you will not eat into your bedrooms and potentially you might have a lift serving all four levels. Now I think conveniently next to the dining area, you also have the dry kitchen area whereby you have a lot of countertop space for food prep. Now the owners chose granite to be the choice of the countertop table. So I think that's great because this is one of the most hardiest and sturdiest material for a countertop kitchen sink. Now right behind me, you also have space for a 500 litre fridge so this is extremely huge i think over here if you were to put a hitachi two-door fridge you will easily fit in now i think it's great that you also have a granny room on level one so if you were to step in to check out this room extremely spacious right over here they fit in a super single size bed but if you were to go up to a queen size bed i think you can easily do so now on level one you also have this bathroom for all your guests to use so i think it's extremely accessible Now, I think stepping out to the wet kitchen area, this is where all the zicha cooking is to be done. Now, the owners actually selected a Bosch hood and hop as well as a Bosch inbuilt oven right over here. And then you have plenty of countertop food preparation space over here. And right behind here, you have another sink. And over here, the owners also fit in another Mitsubishi electric fridge.
Now, as a buyer in today's market, I think you also have the power to actually choose from a huge range of landed properties. For example, if you are not only considering those around the entire pavilion cluster and you want to open up your options to the entire District 23, and how we normally do our landed analysis for our landed buyers is that we will compare between the four categories of landed properties within District 23. Now, for your Cat 1 landed properties, these are your slightly older landed properties whereby investors will actually buy over to knock down and rebuild the entire house, all the way up to your Cat 4, which are brand new and fresh out from the developer. Now, for your Cat 1 properties, around the 2,200 square feet land size, now they are really calling at about the 3.5 million dollar range. This means that if you were to build up at about 4,000 square feet and if you were to consider the current market pricing for rebuild at about 400 to 450 per square feet, so this will take your entire rebuild cost to be about 1.6 odd million dollars. And if you add your 3.5 million as well as your 1.6 million dollars, your total cost would have already been 5.1 million dollars. Now for your Cat 2 lender, these are already calling at about 4.2 million dollars. So at 4.2 million dollars, you might have to take out an additional about 600 to 700 thousand dollars to do a full a and then to spruce up the entire place. So this will easily set you back at about 4.8 to 4.9 million dollars. And lastly, Cat 2 home, exactly like this home that we are in today. So something that is almost luggage moving ready. You just have to do minor renovations. Whereas for your Cat 3 lender, whereby you just have to do a little bit of renovation. Now we are currently priced at 4.6 million dollars negotiable. Land size about 2347 and a build of about 3,300 square feet. The structure is good. You just have to do internal renovation to your liking and you might not even have to spend more than 50 to about 100,000 dollars to spruce up this entire place. And lastly, for your Cat 4 landed properties. Cat 4 landed properties are fresh out from developers. The PSF is about the 2 2005 to 2006 range and therefore this brings your inter terraces to be about a five million dollars quantum now so if you were to rearrange the cat 4 to cat 1 landed home so then you will see that where we are at today at the cat 3 landed we are at an extremely sweet spot because the structure of the landed property is good and if you are familiar with the landed market i think what is crucial if you're a landed buyer is to buy something with a good structure so something that was fully rebuilt not more than 20 years ago and by following the new building guidelines and if you are considering the cat 4 landed option then you have to factor in about two year rebuild kind of timeline so at two years the first six months is for submission and the next one and a half year for our entire rebuild and if you were to consider the a a option then you need about nine months whereby the first three months is for approval and the next six months is for renovation but last but not least if you're constrained for timeline let yet you're hunting for a good deal then i think considering this cat tree lender will be ideal for you because this is almost moving condition and you don't have to spend too long to renovate and spruce up the entire place now that you come to the end of all the pricing analysis i'll let charlene take over and show you the rest of the home to the second floor of this house so on this level you have your master bedroom as well as your junior master with ensuite right on this level and right here is actually where we have our family area so currently the owner has changed this up into a TV where you can watch your movies and etc so basically they have already decked up some nice TV console as well as TV wall right behind so this is almost like a marble like laminate right here and then uh, they have also installed a solar film right here to uh, block out some of the west sun uh, coming in during the afternoon and here you have a comfortable three-seater sofa right in this area. Right, welcome to the master bedroom. So definitely the theme of this master bedroom is a little different from all the other bedrooms. So they have done some customized wardrobe right here and uh, definitely you can fit a king size bed right here with two side tables and then right here is actually a bay window. This is the only bay window in this landed uh, property but they have nicely decked up with this wooden like material so you can definitely drink some coffee when you are reading a book or newspaper right in this corner and this is also facing towards the front of the landed property so this is north facing behind me in this corner you have another four panels of wardrobe so that's an additional wardrobe space for you you have a private corner or vanity corner here so this bathroom comes with a very nice bathtub with some very nice matte ceramic tiling so over here you do have your dedicated his and her sink and then right behind you have a already segregated space for you your toilet as well as your rain shower facility right behind also ample of ventilation window right there as well. Regarding the location analysis, we are located in District 23, which is the Bukit Batok region. So if you are looking from our lender enclave, uh, right across the street, you have the Bukit Batok Driving Centre. You have the Home Team NS, where you have multiple facilities right there. There's a chalet, there's a supermarket, even a golf range, as well as some cafe for you. Right across the greenery view side, that is the Bukit Gombak Camp. And then uh, residents here, they definitely use the Bukit Batok Road to access into our Pavilion Park Estate. Our unit is located 
located along Pavilion View Street itself. So if you are driving, there is an Esso petrol station right across the street from this landed enclave. So that's very convenient for you. And also within 10 minutes drive away, you will easily reach a PIE, BKE as well as KJE. And uh, of course, if you are taking public transport, we are just a few bus stops away from Teck Whye LRT as well as Bukit Gombak MRT station. And not forgetting that, we also have a very exciting new injection of the transportation, which is the new Jurong Region Line. So that has a total of 24 stations that will mainly focus on serving the Jurong Region. So that will definitely come up around 2026 to 2028. So that is definitely something that you can consider using in a few years time. So if you have a kids, of course, that is something to take note of. There are also two playgrounds within the estate, which is from the front as well as the back. So that's very convenient for your kids to play around. And um, right behind us, there's also a small Bukit Gombak Park. So that actually contains a lot of facilities as well as there's even a Wix and Paddle Cafe right there for you and your families to enjoy. All right, so in terms of schools wise, within one kilometer, we have St. Anthony's Primary School. And within one to two kilometers, we have CHIJ Our Lady Queen of Peace as well as Southview Primary School and Accentra. So that is definitely very convenient for you and your kids. Welcome to the Junior Master. So look at the sheer size of this room. So currently what you have is actually different zoning. So this is the sleeping corner and then right here is additional space for you to put in a workstation or even have more cabinetry right around here. So they already have installed an aluminium casement window right there. And then right across is definitely your king size bed as well as a side table. Right on the side you have a four panels of wardrobe already installed for you. Coming into the Junior Master ensuite bathroom, you do also have your bathtub as well as your standing range shower right here of course your big panel of window that can help to dispel lots of moisture Alright, so coming on to level 3, so what you have here is actually two common bedrooms with ensuite bathroom and uh, where I'm standing at right now, this is a study area which you can definitely convert it into your own office space. So this common bedroom is of a very good size. So basically we have a full length of window right in front and then right here they currently sit a queen size bed as well as four panels of wardrobe right at the side. Coming over to this toilet, over here we do have standing shower with glass that separates the dry as well as the wet area. And and then uh, right here is actually two big panels of windows. So basically you can open up this window where you can actually grow some big plants right here for some greenery view. Or if let's say you prefer to have just some open kind of ventilation area, then you can just leave it open after you are done with your showering. So coming over to our fourth common bedroom, so this is a queen size setup mattress. They have a side table as well as a small study desk right at the side. And of course over here they do come with this balcony space. This is towards the front of your house, so this is a north facing. So basically they have also installed the solar film all around the balcony window as well. At this corner, so this is a little different from the other common bedroom. So their wardrobe is actually a L shape, so they have basically maximized this space so that you can have more space on the other side for you to put your study table. So Bathroom also have the same standing shower with power glass already installed. They have a very interesting bifold window that opens up to help ventilate the toilet as well. Back in it, baby, to stay in a town. I'm on the edge, I ain't coming down. I get too high, I'm afraid of the ground. I'm young in the pay, the pay with these sounds ignored. Alright, so basically for your exit strategy wise, we are located in a very exciting area with lots of developments ongoing. So what you have basically the Tengah Estate, which is almost the size of Bishan. So basically what will happen there is there will be an additional 42,000 new BTOs that will be injected into that area. So that could be your future exit audience uh, also. And of course, another exciting news is that ACS Primary School will be moving to Tengah in 2030s. So what that means is that you are buying into the fact that ACS Primary School might be within a one kilometer or two kilometers within uh, that school itself. So definitely that will help to boost up your parent attraction factor, can safeguard your exit strategy. And also not forgetting that the main upgraders will definitely come from your EC as well as condo upgraders. So basically we have Inns Residence, Soul Acres, Palm Gardens, Hillstar, Wonderville, the Rainforest, and Mikasa and the Centra. And also not forgetting that there are also lots of new launches and EC that will be sprucing out over the next few years. So you have Copen Grand EC and the Botanic at Dairy Farm 
which are TOP in 2027. So the pricing there for 4 beta to 5 beta ranges between 2 mil to 3 odd mil. And then you have the Arden and Phoenix residences that TOP in 2025. So they are looking towards the range of 2 to 3 million dollars as well. So this will definitely become your potential exit audience right in the future. Let me show you the flooring. What we have here is actually the timber strip that runs through across the whole staircase as well as all your bedrooms. And then as well as your staircase handrail, this is definitely a very quality stainless steel material that can last for generations. So glass-wise, they are also using a Lamy tempered glass material so that will also last for a long time to come as well. And also if you look up, so we do have this very beautiful spiral chandeliers that the owner has installed. So basically the cost to install this costs about a few thousand dollars. So if you look up, you actually find that it's very very beautiful. You know, it helps to brighten up the whole stairwell in this corner. Come, let's move on to the rooftop terrace. Alright, welcome to the rooftop terrace. So basically, this rooftop terrace is actually quite big. So we can divide it into three zones. First zone, you can definitely change this stuff into a cozy corner where you can host your friends, your family. You can put some nice lawn around here. And then a sofa as well as some barbecue corner so that you can enjoy some drinks and food during the evening time. So coming over to this zone. So this zone is definitely something that you can put this up into a greenery zone. So if you are a greenery lover, you can use this space to grow more plants or vegetables because they do have some dedicated planter all around this roof terrace. This zone can be your laundry zone or can be your workout zone. Definitely big enough space for you. The owner has already decked up a nice shelter roofing so that you can fully utilize this area even though if it's raining. So if you notice all around us, we do have almost a 270 degree panoramic view. So that is definitely something that you get to see with the corner terraces. So because for some people, maybe you are thinking between inter terraces as well as the corner terraces. So for corner terraces, you do get that distance, comfortable distance between you as well as your neighbour. So you do have a lot more light and ventilation coming from all three corners. So for inter terraces, the plot width is actually 6 metres and for corner terraces, it's actually minimum 8 metres distance. But for us, ours is at 8.7 metres wide. So that is actually pretty wide. It's almost as good as a semi-detached kind of feel. And of course, the sunlight that is coming in for inter terraces, basically it comes from the front porch as well as the back porch. Or sometimes you even have a skylight that comes through from the top. But for corner terraces, you have all sunlight coming through from all three corners of the house. Last but not least is the land size. So land size for inter terraces, it could be about 1,600 square feet. Ours here at corner terrace is about 2,347 square feet. So why is that important in terms of capital appreciation wise? So for bankers, if you were to evaluate a blended property, basically they will look at your land size. If let's say you buy a 1,600 inter terraces versus a 2,347 corner terraces, the difference will come in maybe five years down the road. The valuation increased by maybe $500 per square feet. So for let's say an inter-terrace 1,600 land size times $500 PSF, that's about $800,000 capital appreciation versus our 2347 land size times $500 per square feet, that's about $1.17 million capital appreciation. So to sum it up, this property is definitely suitable for you if you have a budget ranging between $4.4 to $4.6 million and you love to own a piece of land in Singapore as well as have the luxury of space and customize according to your family needs. I know we only met just now And I don't want to freak you out, no So thank you for joining us on this landed home tour So once again, if you are looking for a freehold, three and a half storey corner terrace right in Papillon Park Lander Enclave That has a very good structure as well as in totally moving condition Then do feel free to give our listing managers a call Their contact details can be found right below here Now thank you all so much for loving Property Living Brothers channel Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube, Instagram, Facebook and social TikTok My name is Bing Yu My name is Charlene Property, Property Living Brothers, Brothers always, always happy to, to show you the place. place Take care, guys, see you soon Can you please show our audience? Just look at that. How do they even get the back over the fruit? Means you must climb on the tree there. Now over here we have a how many seater sofa, Bonnie? This is a one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, Bonnie, this is a seven seater sofa position right over here. Like you can just sit back and then relax over here. Yo di sa si go la. This is oh my god, Bonnie, this is almost a nine seater. Bonnie, this is a ten seater table right over here. Power wood. Okay. Mm. So if you are driving, the convenient thing is that the cop. Eh. <laughs> okay.